Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl Dazzle Me 77 and I am back with another video. I want to say welcome back to all of you, whether this is your first time on my channel, you're a new subscriber, existing subscriber, or you're just someone who views my channel. I thank you all for the love. Every like, every view, every comment makes a difference and I'm very appreciative. So as you can tell from the title of this video, your girl loves coach. I'm a coachy. If you go through my channel, you will see a lot of coach. And guess what? I'm over here popping tags today. So yes, this beauty is the first time I am carrying her. So what are we going to do? We're going to pull out the purse journal. Um, so I've had a couple people ask about this journal. This is actually an Agenda 52 um, notebook. It does already have dividers put in it. I have looked to see if this is still available on the Hobby Lobby work, um, website, and it is not. This is about two years old. Um, the uh, notebooks that they have out now from Agenda 52, they don't have the dividers in it. And that's not to say that they won't, but this one just comes with the three dividers. But you could very easily get any of their notebooks and put dividers in them and make your own, kind of specialize it to your taste. Because at first it took me a while to figure out what I was going to do with it. And once I did, I it was on point. So let's see when this beauty right here was purchased. Um, I'm loving, if y'all noticed when the year started, I did not have hardly any of these highlighted off. I'm doing a great job with wearing my bags that have tags. So let's see when she was purchased and how long she has been sitting. Here we go. So this right here is the Rogue and the Brass Beige. Um, I paid $3.40 for her and I got her on the Coach Outlet Reserve July 31st, 2024. So let's pull out the yellow highlighter. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all, I get so much joy out of highlighting these bags and, um, you know, just updating my notebook. What I am going to start doing is once I highlight it, I'm going to write here when I actually wore it because it would be interesting for me to know, like when I'm buying bags and I'm just so hyped up about them, how long does it actually take for me to move into them? So I thought that would be good. So I had started putting when I wore them, um, but I don't know. I kind of fell off from that and I'm going to start that back because uh, it would be interesting because who else besides me buys a bag and you just can't, you just got to have it and you still don't wear it like this bag. This is a Brahmin. I, I bought it in January. Haven't worn it. This one was from 2023 and I still haven't worn it. This one's from 23. I haven't worn it. So it's fun to go through and look at what you've purchased, what you're wearing, and what you probably, I don't know. I think this purse journal too is teaching me how much I spend, which I'm really good with budgeting. So that part I'm not too much worried about. But what it is, I really, really like. And I'm a coach girl, y'all. So without further ado, let's get into this Rogue. Um, everybody knows what the Rogue looks like. I wanted to wear a bag that has some fall colors, but I didn't have to switch my bag up a lot this week. I do like to somewhat coordinate my wardrobe with my clothes. I wear scrubs most of the time, but every now and again, I'll wear regular clothes to work. I have that option. And this week, I think I am going to wear some business attire. And so I just didn't want to switch my bag around. So let's look at my keys first. Um, Y'all know I have my Victoria's Secret wristlet with my Shein black bow. Look at that black bling, baby. And I recently added this, which is a chapstick holder. And I just have some strawberry classic chapstick in there. And actually, I got this chapstick. 
lipstick and some love mail from determined to be last year and so i'm utilizing that okay so those are my keys and let's look around this baby first so her colorway is beige and brass and i wanted to bring out that black and y'all see from the heritage charm i love this tea rose and the tea rose is right there um i love that coach puts all the tags on the little um on the little charms as well that 1941 charm is awesome now i will tell y'all in the camera it looks like this bag is showing up more yellow and this right here is the true color of this bag it is beige so y'all can see the color a lot better right here because you see when you turn on the light it looks more yellow to me but it is a beige bag okay so let's go down just a little bit so I can show y'all around the bag. But now that I showed you the true color, I'm going to leave the light on just so y'all can see the details of the bag. Um, Coach always does an amazing job. And as you can see, even with the little grommets there, they have Coach written on that. This 1941 charm is crazy. And I love how that C just sits right there. So look at that side view. I wanted just enough, not too much. Um, a rogue is a rogue. Y'all know what they look like. But I love that everything is monochromatic on this bag. And as y'all can see, it is just a gorgeous bag. Now, coach bags, these rogue bags can be heavy. This is my favorite size, which is a 30. But because she is all leather, she does have a little bit of weight to her. So I tried to be mindful when I was packing stuff inside of her because she is going to be heavy just because she is an all leather bag. Now, on the bottom of this bag, it should say yes. So this one has the genuine glove tan leather on the bottom. And that is because all aspects of this bag is leather. Some of your rogues won't have that on the bottom if they have jacquard or they have different types of leathers on that. So some people will look at that and be like, oh, um, it doesn't have genuine glove tan leather on it. It's not a real coach bag. That's not true. It just depends on what that coach bag is made out of. The other thing is that I like about this bag is if you look, everything is leather. This is all leather. Although I do love the suede aspects, um, we are going through a season here in North Carolina. It, it's supposed to be fall. But y'all, I promise you it's felt like summer for the past couple of days. And now today it feels like winter time. So we are just going through all different types of phases. And so I'm just going with the flow, to be honest. So in this outside pocket, if you notice on the Rogue, y'all know the setup. You have two open spots on the outside. And on this side... I have my Teshlin Black Pink because I'm going to grab for it a lot. I also kept my um, little Shein pouch. has my business cards, um, store cards, gift cards, all that stuff inside of there. Um, I have my Louis Vuitton Small Ring Agenda. I have my Notique pencil case with the same pens and pencils I always have. And I did go back to my little Chanel pouch because this bag is so heavy. I was trying not to make all my accessories leather, okay? And so inside of here, and y'all probably will see this quite a bit coming up. I just have all of my wipes. Y'all know I love to do that. Um, I was using this Chanel pouch at one time all the time. I have Clorox wet um, ones. I have my Summer's Eve wipes, shout wipes. I have some antibiotic ointment. And then I have my poopery in here. Okay. So this can go from bag to bag. And especially with it being the fall and the likelihood of me carrying darker colored bags, this is going to come in handy because I'm not going to have to switch out. And y'all know your girl is all for universal accessories. On this side right here, as y'all can see, I don't have much. I just have my wet ones upside down. 
I have my Mentos Pure Gum. And then I have, come on, Dazzle. I have my um, Sunkiss Sours Tin that I repurposed. And it's just like a, a little candy pouch. I just added some ginger chews to these with my Jolly Ranchers and Mambas, okay? So I just reused the tin. That's all I did. And I like it because it's handy, it's easy, small, right? This side right here, if you notice, has the big slip pocket. And then this side over here has the card where you could put a card inside of here. And I just have the information on the bag. This is the Glove Tan Rogue bag. And if your Rogue does not have a number, it's more than likely a 30, okay? Um, this bag did retail for $8.50 in the U.S., $1,040 in Canada. And as you saw, I paid $3.40 for it. And it is in brass and tan. I love it. I love it. And you know, when this bag first came out, I was so tempted to get it because I just think this color is so versatile. I think it's uh, every weather, every season bag, you can make this bag work. Uh, for the spring, summer, fall, and winter, I think you can make this bag work, okay? So let's get into the inside. As y'all know, she has the double zips. I have not taken the plastic off of those, so you probably will still see a glare. Um, and this is what she looks like on the inside. Y'all know she has that pocket that has that snap right there. I usually keep that snap so it'll have two separate areas. And on this side, I have my all-purpose cream. And then I have my menthol lip tint, just so I can reach in and pull out. I love when I can just reach in and pull out. Here I have my Louis Vuitton key clay with my cards that if I have to pull this out, um, I need to be having a, a financial discussion with myself. Um, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. I did switch into my black pill case. Y'all will see the color combo in a minute. I do have my Coach little pouch that I've been having for years. Inside of here, I just have my AirPods. I have my gym keys and backdoor key. And I just have my iWalk charger that is now charged up. Yes, she's charged. So I kind of like just, I don't like having stuff just randomly in my bag. And um, especially when I'm telling my husband to go in my purse for something, it's easier if I can say the gold pouch, the square black case. Um, because if anything else, he's going to tear my whole purse up looking for one thing. All right. So right here, y'all can tell the theme. I went with the Coach Leopard theme. Um, I thought this looked so good together. I don't have much inside of here. I think the only thing in here are masks. Yes, I have some masks. And I have my Band-Aid pack. And I have my, yep. I have my Listerine Coolman um, brush strips. And I have that in there because usually when I put my mask on, I always put a mint in my mouth or I have like some brush strips. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I've always done that. Um, and I have a little charm up here. I did cut the wristlet strap off, but I think that is so pretty. Um, and that's what's on there. Then I did use the Coach Zip Around Wallet that is also in the leopard print. Y'all know what it looks like. I just love the organization of this wallet. I love how it feels in my hands. I just love, love, love this wallet also in here i've already went over this a lot um this is just like lipstick perfume mirror um placards for my teeth i have hair ties in here for my locks lotions q-tips additional bathroom spray um I added a lip pencil, some more lip gloss, 
just stuff like that. And I did add a MAC lipstick. Um, this is probably my favorite color. Um, the color is called Chili. It's like a brownish red. And y'all, it's so pretty. I love this color. I'll show you what it looks like on me. I love this color. It is very, very pretty. I don't know if y'all have been watching my girl, Mom Ambition, but she does Makeup Mondays, and she is really helping me out because your girl don't know how to wear makeup. And I don't want to wear it every day, but when I want to get dressed up or just spice up my look, I want to know what are the products that everybody's using, what works, what don't work. Because sometimes you'll look at these videos now and I'm like, I don't have time to spend 45 minutes putting on no makeup. This right here is my bee pouch. Y'all know I love bees. I got this from TJ Maxx or either Marshalls with a stationary kit. I just have my work badge and work keys inside of there. So this is my setup. I don't know how long I'm going to be in it, but I've been trying to wear my bags, y'all. Go through my collection, wear my bags, and just enjoy. The other thing is that I've really been enjoying, like, Coach, all the brands are coming out with all these nice new accessories. And I love, love, love pairing my old stuff with new stuff. I just think it is so much fun. Um, it gives your whole gives your whole setup a new look. Like you can have a setup this time and it looks a certain way. And then you get some new accessory and pair with it, and it looks totally different. So I'm enjoying doing that. Um, also, just looking at what I have, um, I have a rather nice size purse and accessory collection, and um, it's just been nice to enjoy it. And I've had a ball. Um, I also want to show you that this bag does come with a strap. I didn't go into detail because everybody knows rogues, but this is what it looks like. Um, I probably won't use it, but I have it. I usually use the straps when I'm carrying this bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below and let's talk about it. Are you rotating through your bags? What are your favorite things to do when you get new accessories? Do you have to get the accessories in the bag or do you kind of like to buy things to go with what you already have in your collection? I would love to know. So as always, remember, 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 be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.